Welcome to South Aussie Shooting Channel. This video is of our full draft series. Uh, this is a camping chainsaw that I'll be using in the near future. And uh, I got this for Christmas and uh, planning on uh, using it. Um, if there's not uh, total fire beams and stuff that around that you've got to be aware of when you go camping or fuel driving anywhere you go there's different uh, restrictions on when you can use a chainsaw and when you can't uh, so look out for that also part of generators and stuff as well anything that uses a fuel source um, so I got a chainsaw uh, this is for when you go real out bush uh, the trees falling down stuff like that you may need firewood um, to do campfires and it's just an easier way instead of using a normal hand saw to use a chainsaw uh, where possible um, depending on the length of the tree trunk as well you need different types of a um, chains sizes so uh, I've got a 22 inch uh, which should do all the really big stuff uh, I've heard little uh, ones can do it as well there's just more uh, cuts that you need to make in the tree got the SPLs for $160. I got it off of eBay. It's relatively cheap. Uh, it's a Pro Series one, so it's the best uh, of the cheap ones that you can buy. Uh, it's a good uh, name brand. Uh, it's um, I bought um, high performance uh, semi synthetic uh, oil uh, penwright and uh, penwright uh, bar oil, and uh, it's got a 600 a fuel tank comes in a carry bag it also has a tool uh, bag as well it has the fuel mixer bottle that would you would use it has a few other features uh, that has uh, easy starting capability it uh, is a heavy duty sprocket nose uh, it's got a dual exhaust uh, for less emissions and longer life. Uh, it's got a snap lock uh, cylinder cover and a uh, genuine Max Tech air filter and uh, a direct air injection and deep engine fins. A pump, uh, it's got a bar oil adjuster, easy service access, to auto throttle lock got a Bosch spark plug and it's a well balanced design and an anti vibration system <clears throat> it's a 62 cc's uh, it's a dyno tested and um, it's also it's a 22 inch uh, bar it's a commercial grade componentry it's uh, made by Japanese engineering it has an e-start system and uh, has a 306 degrees of cutting capability it, uh, it's equipped with an anti-vibration system safety lock uh, chain brake it, uh, it's a single cylinder air force two stroke the 3.2 kilowatts is 4.4 horsepower Running power of 2.64 kilowatts or 3.5 horsepower. Running power speed is 10,200 rpm and max engine speed is 10,800 rpm. Idle speed is 3,000 rpm and it weighs of 6.5 kilos. It uh, comes with the user manual and uh, it also uh, uses unleaded uh, 90 plus run uh, with a 260 milliliter bar oil capacity and uh, oil pump capacity of 8 to 7 milliliters a minute. The fuel mixtures are 25 to 1. And I'll uh, now uh, get the chainsaw out. This is uh, up close here. This is the uh, BIOS chainsaw that I was explaining before has a rubber textile here for easy grip 
paper so when the chainsaw vibrates you have something to grab onto it has the rip cord here on the left side on top here it has the air box it just unclips on these sides to get to the uh, air filter and the carburetor it has a choke here which you pull out until it clicks it has a switch on the side to turn it on or off the petrol and oil gets filled by this container and the one up the front gets filled with the bar oil it comes with a sheath here and for the 22 inch blade has a very sharp uh, log holder there so when you're cutting deep into the wood that that rests up against there and helps you uh, not get kicked back and stuff when you're cutting has labels on it uh, warning labels and also uh, the decibel ratings 117 for the noise so that is uh, you need to wear safety glasses and uh, also earmuffs or any uh, chainsaw pants that are specifically designed not to uh, cut yourself uh, it has adjustment screws for the carburetor and idle speed on these little ones up here on the side there's a screwdriver it has a a chain brake here by pushing forward the chain uh, doesn't move while you're trying to operate or move around with the chainsaw on um, it also is part of the startup which I'll show you I'll just turn it around here camera and uh, we'll go around the back here so this is your safety trigger here for the accelerator it won't go unless you have that blade pushed down and uh, that also pops in when that is pressed it's got a warning label here that uh, says you can only use the uh, don't use raw petrol, you only use the mixed one. It's a switch here which is off and on. And here is your choke to pull it to start it and push it in. Or automatically push this and it will come in. The box here, this is the right side here. It has an anti vibration system here. The metal bow handle. This is where you assemble it, it comes apart, the blade isn't in there. You have to take these two screws off and you'll slide the bar on and the chain at the same time, and then you'll be uh, taking this off here. It has the name here. It has a sprocket at the end here that this attaches to the chain and it spins around in here assisting the chain. The chain has a directional uh, way here up here so it's easy to know which way the chain is to be put on. The, it uh, is adjustable here, it's got little uh, an adjustment screw to tighten up the chain. top here those warning stickers it says earmuffs and uh, don't cut the ground touch the ground because it will dull the blade read the instruction manuals the front of it here we have the dual exhaust here with the no touch heart symbol blade is very sharp. This is the startup process, making sure it's on flat ground, the chain brake push forward so the chain doesn't move. You have to turn the switch to the on position, the choke out when you first start it, 
and placing a foot inside the rear. As so, all you need to do is hold it tight and do one. As soon as it does that, you'll need to put the choke in, push the trigger down, and next time it will start. Turning the little switch, it turns off. That's all, thanks for watching.